everyone, it's Vivian. Welcome to episode 5 of Sit and Knit with Vet. Hello to all my returning viewers and hello and welcome to all my new viewers. My name is Vivian and I'm coming to you on Saturday the 1st of June from a very sunny United Kingdom. The idea behind this podcast is to actually come on each month and just tell you what I've been knitting as I set myself a challenge at the beginning of the year to knit hats for the homeless and this is a good way of me keeping on track and just talking you through what I've knit in the last month. For anyone who is new I'm mainly on Instagram and my social media um, details are Vivette B1. So if everybody is sitting comfortably and you have a drink or you have some knitting with you let's get started with this month's finished objects. So the first finished object that I have to show you is my hat for the homeless and this is it here. It's a lovely cable beanie hat and this is uh, the pattern that I learnt to how to do cables with with Carol who is the knitting teacher, knitting tutor at Beautiful Things and I'll link to website below. Um, it's a very simple cable so you have a, a short brim and then you just have a, a cable repeat all the way around and then just decreases at the top. Um, this is in a Starcraft DK, um, a very royal blue colour. I don't know the, the actual name of it and I've lost the ball band because all the hats that I knit for the homeless are being knit out of my DK stash. Um, so this is the one that I have finished for me. So that is my first finished object. My second finished object is a pair of socks. And these are socks that I knit for Sean for his birthday. Um, so you may re remember that I was knitting them before. They're slightly shorter than his winter socks because he wanted some summer ones. So they these actually have a cotton content in them. Um, it's an Opal Opal Cotton Premium is the name of the, the brand. And it's a new range that has come out. And this is the first pair that I've knit with them. It's lovely to knit with. It's a really nice... Um, texture and yarn to knit with. He has worn these and he has said that actually yes they are um, cooler than his winter socks. They have been washed. I did hand wash them because I wasn't sure although it said you could wash them on a 30 degrees I wasn't sure so I thought I'd hand wash them just to see because I don't want them to stretch too much. Um, but I can say that they are, ve they are very nice to knit with and he said they're very comfortable and cool to wear so that is finished object number two. Finished object number three is another pair of socks which I finished late last night so I haven't had a chance to block them or to put them on any sock blockers. Um, these are my four ply version of the Calm Mountain Socks by Barbara and Lefko of Knitting I Love and I'll put a link to the pattern below and also to her website. So this is the Calm Mountain, it's got a, a slight pattern in which obviously you can't see unfortunately because I don't have it on blockers and I knit this out the opal um, colourway and I teamed it with a bright pink which is the Sheep's Invicta because I thought it picked up the pink very nicely in the striping um, and it has pink toes and afterthought heels. I put the afterthought heels in yesterday while I was at my monthly craft club at Beautiful Things and a couple of the ladies were a little bit um, on edge as I cut into the yarn but as you can see they've turned out fine so I'm, I'm getting quite used to doing afterthought heels now as long as I put a lifeline in before I actually do cut just because I'm more concerned of the, the yarn actually laddering down if, the, if it's not a, a robust yarn but these are really nice and I actually have enough wool left over to make another pair um, whether it be a shorty pair or I might make these as a gift pair so I'm really pleased with how much yardage I've had in the yarn out of these so that's another finished object um, two more to go and these are both tops so the first one that I have is my pot, pot luck pullover which I was knitting on last month I'll insert a picture of here because I was wearing it yesterday but it's just a little bit too warm to wear it here today um, but I'll show you it here on the hanger I can't show you too well because it's too I can't go back any further unfortunately so this is knit out of drops flora in their denim colourway which on the ball band is number 13 um, so it's just a top down and it's got a, a scoop neck so you, but with raglans and um, it's really really nice and you just knit all the way down and then you just put a garter band on the bottom I've done it so the arms are just like um, quarter sleeve down to about the length of this t-shirt because it's great that I can wear it with a long sleeve t-shirt in the winter underneath 
or in the summer if I just want something because it's a little bit windy or that I can put a vest top underneath it and I've got another jumper it's a four ply floras uh, drops flora and it is made up of 65% wool and 35% alpaca so it's a non superwash so this will be a hand wash only garment but I'm looking that I will make some more of these I'm thinking I might do a fade version because as much as I love the fade sweater it's quite a close fitting sweater and I prefer mine to have um, some more positive ease but now that I've got a um, schematic of a, that I, one that I really enjoy I should definitely be making more of these the other and final finished object that I have for you today is a top that I was test knitting for Melissa who is Skay Nanigans on um, social media she put a call out to for test knitters for her v-neck magpie tendency she already has a scoop neck version out and she wanted some test knitters for the v-neck version so i was lucky enough to be one of those so this is my v-neck version here so as you can see it's quite a loose top it's a crop top um, and i do have a new picture that i can insert around about here hopefully um, so it's a fingering weight yarn but you knit it on six mil needles um, so it's quite good in that respect the yarn that I've used for this the, the dark purple is chromatic yarns in the vicious mockery colorway and that's the lovely Hannah of Corner of Craft and the lighter purple is called is actually it's a one of a kind but it was a prototype for cast yarns who is Saz um, for her Wizard of Oz collection so it ended up being the Tin Man version which is slightly more grey than this but this one's got a lot of lilac in but I think these two complement each other very well and what I like about both of these is not only are they very lovely lovely ladies and lovely dyes they both live in Nottingham so I think it's quite apt that they are knitted together so this is the V-neck Magpie Tendency um, as you can see it's got an, an eye cord bind off on the sleeves and at the bottom and you actually knit it by doing an eye called cast on which was something new to me I had done it as a bind off before but never cast on then you knit the, the panels and then you pick up to come do the main body it's a very cleverly written construction it's not something that I've come across before um, but it works very well this is lovely I've been wearing this in the garden just over a camisole it's lovely as a lightweight thing if you just want to cover up your shoulders against the sun or something like that and it would be great as a summer top if you're around the pool and then need to go inside for something to eat or something you just want a top to slip over with a sarong or something that would be ideal for that because it is very lightweight I'm thinking it would also work really nicely in a four ply cotton so um, I might try that but it's it's a very nice jumper it's lovely and cool and I'm really really pleased with it and like I say it's due to be released um, the beginning of June so if it has been released by the time this goes live I will link to the pattern if not I will link to my Ravelry page and then when it does go live you can click there and it will take you straight through to the pattern so those are all my finished objects for this month so let's move straight on to whips so the first whip that I have is another test knit for Melissa of Scananigans um, and she's quite happy if I just show you some of it so this is a, another jumper and as you can see this is a four ply again and I'm using drops flora again so it's got this lovely texture at the top um, and it's a top down one and you do short rows at the back to give it some height in the shaping this is the first time that I've ever done short rows I've done wraps and turns on shawls but I've never done short rows knitting in the round and I'm not sure if it's my ideal way of doing it I think I prefer raglan but I manage them and they don't look too messy so I'm quite pleased so but I do love the texture I think this pattern in is gorgeous up here um, and then when you get further down you actually incorporate some stripes into it so I'm just using and the idea is to use up your minis so you can put as many or as few minis in as you want and you can do as many rows per per stripe as you like or as few rows as you like so hopefully I'll have this finished for you for the next video and hopefully it will also be released by then so those are, are that is my first whip my other whips are two more three more whips I think the first one is a, another hat for the homeless but this is going to be a long term project she says try not to slide it off the needles she's dropped one um, this is going to be a long term project so you will have seen from my um, video last month 
that I'm making the full of minis hat by Barbara who is Barbara Nalesko who is knitting I love um, I will link to the pattern below and I'm doing a four ply version for myself what I decided to do with all my leftovers of my hats for the homeless is to knit a DK version which can then become another hat so this one will just incorporate the leftovers from hats that I've knitted throughout throughout the, the, the past months so this one will take a little bit longer to construct um, but I will hopefully have a, a final hat consisting of all the previous ones at the end of the year so that's the DK version of the full of minis hat and I will link to the pattern below and that's the the next colour that was likely to go into it which is a bit of a turquoisey colour the other work in progress that I have is another hat and again this is for the hats for the homeless and this is using the yarn the third eye yarn that I did my buttercup top out of which um, is one that I talked about I think in my March or April video but you will see it there um, it's a Sirdar Dapple so it's a DK yarn and I also have a lovely little stitch mark on it which again is by Hannah who is Corner Craft it's one of her hand beaded stitch markers um, these are so intricate to make I have done some beading work myself and I really enjoy it but I don't have the the eyesight or the patience to make these they are all individually handmade so check out her website again I'll link it to below because she has some beautiful ones on there I have quite a few of them but I do love the sloth I like the little hair design the little pattern so this is this hat getting back to the hat is just going to be a two by two rib um, and I've got a, a hundred grams here so I've got plenty to do a nice long two by two rib with a pom-pom on top and it will be the option it's very similar to the standing rock hat if any of you have seen that pattern on Ravelry um, and you can either fold the brim up and have it as a close fitting hat or you can have it as quite a um, slouchy hat so that's my next one and that's going to be quite good because I've got some travelling coming up in June so I need some small projects to take with me so that is I think yes oops excuse me that is all my whips that I have um, I will obviously be casting on some more now that I've cast off the socks and stuff but I'm going to be casting on smaller projects that I can take with me when I go travelling um, because it's much easier that way than taking a big jumper so talking of travelling in a couple of weeks today I will be at Woolen so I'll be there on the Saturday um, it's part of a longer trip to Ireland but I'm definitely going to be there on the Saturday and I'm going to arrange if anyone wants to meet up for coffee whilst I'm there um, it's going to be around about 2 o'clock in the woolen venue in the coffee lounge I haven't actually worked out where that is yet but I'm sure but I will put a, a post up on Instagram on the day so if anyone is going to be at woolen and would like to meet up for a coffee and say hello um, please do comment below I'm also going to set up a Ravelry page for Sit and Knit with Vivette a Ravelry group rather and I will put a, a link a, a thread in there as well so that if you want to comment you can comment there so it would be lovely to meet everyone and to say hello and to say hello again to some people that I met when I was in Ireland last time who I know are going to be at Woolin. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I've got lots of things that I want to buy but I haven't got that much money so I'm going to have to be very very careful and only buy what I really really need to do because as you can see behind me I have a lot of yarn. Um, this yarn has been put in its protective bags for the summer in case we have any of those pesky moths come through so I used the I don't know if you can see it very well but I used the vacuum pack bags where you can actually suck the air out um, I got a very good deal on Amazon that I will link to um, below it will be an affiliate link um, so I do get a few pennies if you put anything but it's a jumbo pack it comes with 12, 12, 10 or 12 different sized bags and it actually comes with a pump with it as well so you've got jumbo bags that you could put like blankets and stuff in and I'm going to be doing that with our, the knitted blankets and crochet blankets that I have and store those away and also other things like your jumpers and any knitwear that you might want to, to save from those pesky moths um, can do it and it goes all the way up to the smaller bag so what I've got here is I've got a medium bag and I've got two smaller bags which has managed to get all of my hand dyed yarn in which I'm really pleased about so they will just quietly live there um, until the summer's over and I can get them back out on display so that is what my plans are the other thing that I have that I'm really looking forward to which is going to come up the week before woolen is I'm doing a steaking wool workshop 
with Anne Katenberg, who is the lovely Marnie. She's going to be coming to Beautiful Things, which is Claire's studio, and she's going to be teaching a steaking workshop on Saturday the 8th of June. I will link to the website below because I know that Claire still has a couple of places left on that workshop but they are going fast. So if any of you are wanting to do a steaking workshop and live local, that's a great way to do it. And also Marnie is the designer behind the Sinister Cats cardigans, the Cat Gardens. Um, so she will show you then how, because that pattern actually, you knit it in the round and then you steak it to turn it into a cardigan. So if anyone wants to do that pattern... Um, that's another good workshop so I'm looking forward to meeting her on the 8th and then I shall see her again at Woolen because she's going to be at Woolen so I get um, double dibs as they say so that's all that I have to talk to you about today like I said I'm trying to keep it quite short so it's probably about 15-20 minutes or so um, I hope you've enjoyed what you see if you have any questions please comment below and I'll be happy to answer them if you've liked what you've seen please give me a thumbs up and if you've liked it enough to subscribe please do subscribe. So thank you again for spending a few, few minutes with me and I hope you'll enjoy the weekend and I shall catch up with you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.